Hello everybody, another day here on the build site, wish I could say that I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed, but there's a problem with that saying, I don't have bright eyes and I darn sure don't have a bushy tail, <laughs> uh, bright eyed and bushy tailed, I wonder where that saying come from, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get these gates opened up. Get my truck moved out of the way and let these guys get another day going here. Another day. Well, I got a little bit of news about today. If things go well, we're gonna mix up a little bit of concrete. Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of mixing and a little bit of pouring on the top floor. We've got sand here bagged and ready. We got stone all over here bagged and ready. And we got a little stack of Portland underneath right there. And um, I've got a couple little things I need them to do this morning before they make that happen. But probably by midday, we're gonna do a little bit of mixing and pouring. And also today, I need to make a trip into City Hardware in Oton. I had uh, bought four of those U PVC sliding glass doors. First person bought them from them. First time they had them in stock. And it's the same brand of mini windows that I bought here already. Well, they I needed six and they have four. So they told me that they'd have to order the other two and it would take approximately three weeks to come in. Oh, man, I said, okay, go ahead and do it. And uh, you know what? <laughs> Two or three days later, yesterday, they were trying to reach me on my phone and let me know that those doors are already there. And that's kind of crazy. i tell you what was really shocking about that is that the, the girl there that was helping me, she called every branch around to see if they had any stock that they could do, a, uh, you know, send it over from another store. So she checked two other locations right here in Iloilo because there's two, there's the store in Oton and then there's two other locations up in the city. Uh, she tried San Jose. She tried Calibo. She tried Roja City around other parts of this island of other large towns that are on there. And no, 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 no. And so it says it's going to have to order them then. It's going to take three weeks. Two days later, two days later, there they are in the store. So I'm pretty impressed with that. But you know, that particular store takes really good care of me too. And I like them there. I've, I've been a steady customer. I always say it's good to build a rapport with somebody. And if they're doing you right, do right by them as well. And you can have a little bit of harmony there in a relationship. So now, let me show you something else to talk to him but yesterday Bon Bon delivered me um, a couple more of the doors for the house up here and the jams as well one of them's up here on this front balcony that door right there um, so that's where one of them's going and then the other one goes out off of uh, our master bedroom out on that veranda right there so that is that now want to address something about this window and these around here and the sliding door in the back. The story is over at our old house down the beach, which we figured the nature will consume it someday. Um, we're letting the family take that house over, but 
we need to try to recover all we could out of our cost on that place. So in the, in the original deal, we were going to, on this downstairs of the house, rob a door here, a door over there, a sliding glass door, this window, that window, and the one around there. Well, when we got ready to remove a couple of those, we realized that those windows were just a few years old, but the salt had done, did damage, like I said, where I told you about it needed stainless steel screws and the aluminum needed to be a little bit thicker and all. Let's walk on around here. So we're talking about this window as well and that one. And we were going, our original plan was just to remove those and bring them over here. But like I say, upon removing, and we find out that in here where this frame's put together, that it is done ate away by the salt and especially the corrosive reaction that happened between the screws and the aluminum, those zinc coated screws and the aluminum, it, it just ate it up. And uh, they would probably last a, a pretty good while just to be left in place and like them over there, they'll probably just leave them open most of the time. Um, but for us to put them over here into a new place and they're already damaged, I decided against that. So I had already made two custom size door openings right or window openings right here and a custom size sliding glass door opening thinking that we were going to bring those windows. So I could not find a U PVC window that was ready made that was this size that would fit in these openings that we had already cast. Thus I need to have them custom made and the UPVC window and door makers that were around in this area wanted a phenomenal amount of money to make me three windows and a door to go in there. So I was lucky and I found GB Majestic Glass. They had thick extrusion. Um, they made me quarter inch thick glass in them. They put all the felt and seals in place on them and they put the stainless steel screws in there for me without any hesitation. So kudos to them. So if you're wondering why I did not put UPVC in, that is the reason why. But everywhere else is getting UPVC. And I know it's a new place and I, I hate to have something different downstairs than it's upstairs, but at least there's a dividing floor. Those rooms downstairs were not considered like a part of the original house anyway. Try and justify it here. Come on, y'all go with me. <laughs> I just, I really be honest. I hate that I'm gonna have aluminum downstairs on those particular openings and then everything else, UPVC. But those rooms are kind of like bonus rooms anyway because originally this house was gonna be all open underneath. Um, just like built on, you know, people call it built on stilts, built on piers, you know, like you'll see a lot of beach homes in a lot of countries. We finally decided to close them in and not waste the space. So um, that is the deal with that. And that's all because of us in the beginning gonna try to be really mega top budget and try to pull those things from that old home. But I've just gave those doors and I gave those windows with the family. Told them let's leave them in the openings. Let's leave them intact because pulling them apart and pulling them out of there is what's gonna do more damage to them. And you PVC doors and windows is exactly what I've already bought for this place right here. That's what's in all of these boxes is you PVC windows right there, large sliding windows. And these will be the same as the uh, now sliding glass doors that I'll have. And I've got all the windows elsewhere. These small ones everywhere are also all you PVC. I've bought every one of them. And as well, these over here are also UPVC. So um, everything's gonna have UPVC now, now that I happen to run across those UPVC sliding glass doors, first time to be stocked by City Hardware. And I bet that's gonna be a good seller for them here in the future. Ini sih, 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 ini sih
लगाएंगे एक तो इस पे आके इस लाता जाए लाना तो जाए So it looks like everything's just about ready. Yeah. Um, we got some bars that are gonna stick up through this slab right here, what we'll call here in the Philippines extensions, preparing for the future that um, I might want a CR up here on the roof deck for the future. So we went ahead and basically put all the plumbing we're just not going to build the actual room right now but we plumbed it and uh, we've got rebar that's going to be tied in where the walls will be so we can build them in the future got everything ready to pour down in these uh, deep beams so what we're going to do is this afternoon like this this big beam coming across the front of the house right here there's the street you see um, there's no slab or nothing with it and actually it's got a big wall underneath it and so what we're gonna do is go ahead and start knocking places like that out um, it does not have to be part of a monolithic pour so we're gonna pour like that all the way across the front get it knocked out this one right here the same story it's got some wall left down in there that needs to be poured i'm gonna go ahead and get that poured up and all of these have uh solid concrete supporting walls underneath them so it does not matter about this beam being poured monolithic and all that because it can't move anyway it truly did not even really have to have a beam um it just didn't but we're going to go ahead and get those all poured in. And then back here on the back side where Joel is right now, there's about maybe about 30 inches of wall down in there that forms the top of those three meter wide glass window door openings across the back, those sliding glass doors. And uh, down in there, you can see it's pretty deep down in there. And we'll go ahead and get those poured all the way up too so that when we get ready to pour the actual slab area we can just rock and roll we're not trying to mix and mix and mix and fill in these big deep areas and then the next thing this slab's already got poured supporting walls underneath it you see right here that's that's concrete right there with dials that are bent over you can see and right there same thing there's no big open spans in here on this so uh, yeah it's gonna work out pretty good it's uh, gonna be poured up here on the slab in three sections we've got it all planned it's a Saturday we're gonna pour some of this today Monday we're gonna pick back up on actually pouring the slab itself up here um, then maybe the following day be prepared to start pouring another section of the slab unless we need to take a day in between there to do some prep or something but uh this upcoming week it's going to be all about pouring up here and uh that's going to be a pretty great thing a really great thing so Oh my goodness, that's finished so smooth like on a like on a gun or something, man. <laughs> Holy cow. Man. Bonbon. Did you like it? Yeah, man. He showed me this the other day. Yeah. Maybe and, more, he will do another. And this is teak. He made me a handle for my grandpa's old axe. <laughs> and I saw it the other day. He brought it by here. I couldn't believe how nice it was this this old axe is old i brought it from the u.s and when i brought it i had him in mind to uh, make me a handle and i left it with him and that's exactly what he did man look at that boy he put a finish on it looks nice boy i mean it's beautiful that, that is as nice as a stock on a on a rifle or something that is pretty 
this axe is old old and i'm probably just gonna uh decorate it up a little bit i think i might put a little leather and tassel on it and uh hanging it on the wall but i i really like that it's pretty that is nice check that out that is so cool i always get that little bit of uh overspray off right there and let it get a little patina back right there and man it'll it'll be righteous yeah just knock it off and i want to let it get a little surface rust back on it so do you know that american saying i don't know it might not just be american saying but like when two people when they argue mm. and then they don't argue no more they say they buried the axe <laughs> yeah they buried the axe so me and bon, bon we buried the axe <laughs> yeah like i say i just knocked this little uh stuff off right here and let it get a little rust back on it right there a little patina and uh no i don't want to yeah i just knock it off and then i'm gonna let it rust back a little bit right there oh, yeah, yeah. so it all has that nice even rust mm. yeah it's great though i mean i know you had to do that i but... forgot to paint this one. Oh, it'll be fine it's so fine good. Man, that is beautiful though. That's just Let's see if I can lay that and y'all get a whole view of it here. There you go, you can get a whole view of it now, isn't that cool? That is cool, cool, cool. I love it. Man, look what a nice grain on that wood, too. Absolutely beautiful. That, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hello, how yeah. are you doing? Hello. How about the survey? The survey? The boats? Uh -huh. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Fisher folk, Fisher folk. Fisher folk? Yeah. Wow, it's shiny. <laughs> It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm kind of scared to give that to her. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a... Her, uh, her moods change a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to hang it on the wall. Yeah. I'm afraid she's going to hang it in my head. <laughs> hey, Mel, if you're going to hit me with it, hit me like y'all hammer with the hammer sideways. Don't go this way. <laughs> Uh, that is nice, nice, nice.